Before the days of computers, things had to be recorded by hand and much more effort was needed to access information. When scholars go back to examine these documents, sometimes what they find is astonishing. From irreplaceable sketches by geniuses of the Renaissance to indications of advanced technology, here are the most mysterious manuscripts with hidden secrets. Hey guys, this is American Eye, bringing you another great video. Number 11, the Bayeux Tapestry. Currently being held in a museum in Bayeux, France, it depicts a massive turning point in history, the Battle of Hastings. For a while, it was held in the Bayeux Cathedral due to its historic value, but it's being preserved with the most advanced technology right now. Although it's not a true tapestry, it's actually what's known as an embroidery. After you take a look at it, you'd have to assume an immense amount of effort was needed in order to make it. Not everything is too easy to understand, and it's been a source of speculation and controversy. Scholars have debated a few interpretations of what some of the pictures indicate. For example, here we see this portion, showing King Harold getting hit with an arrow. A few pieces of the Bayeux Tapestry have gone missing that total 21 feet in length, which likely depict King William's coronation. Who took it and for what reason? The world may never know. Number 10. Sibiu Rocket Launch you might come across a lot of strange manuscripts on this list, but this is definitely going to make you scratch your head. Mankind made some exceptional advancements in technology during the Renaissance, but could a spaceship be one of them? You might all seem to think that it wasn't until the 20th century that mankind was able to put a man into space. But many believe that it was much, much sooner. Old manuscripts from the Sibiu rocket launch during 1555 were kept completely secret and kept in places where no one would find them. In 1961, a professor at the University of Bucharest stumbled upon these documents that show designs of a complex rocket. They contained 450 pages of detailed descriptions of a rocket launch that took place and had thousands of witnesses. This was because of the work of Conrad Haas, who was born in Vienna. He had a special gift for designing rockets as well. Whether or not anyone actually got into outer space still remains a mystery. The idea of designing a manned rocket ship was centuries ahead of its time. It's currently being displayed at the Sibiu Museum in Romania if you want to take a look for yourself. Number 9. Timbuktu Manuscripts Located on the southern edge of the Sahara and the country of Mali is where you'll find the historical city of Timbuktu. Between the 12th and 14th century, this city thrived and was extremely wealthy from trading salt and ivory. This commodity was traded by large caravans of camels and brought an enormous amount of wealth to the Malayan Empire. As wealth was spreading, so was knowledge. A large number of manuscripts were found that have been preserved for centuries. This tends to show a very small sample of the vast amount of information this sub-Saharan African culture possessed. Travelers would arrive with books and they were well sought after. As time went by, it's believed that many of them must have gone missing and were burnt during various invasions. Those who can understand the ancient language are being taught some new things as well after sifting through these artifacts. Epic of Gilgamesh The Epic of Gilgamesh is a 3,000-line poem written in cuneiform on clay tablets that discuss the heroic actions of the protagonist Gilgamesh. The wise, mysterious king of the city of Ur was described as being created by the gods with a perfect body and was capable of some serious supernatural things. He was also two-thirds god and one-third man and as strong as a savage bull, according to the poem. Some scholars debate whether or not Gilgamesh was a real person or not and wonder how much this poem could have been true. Some believe he was actually the fifth king of Ur around 2700 BC. This was certainly the time when the city of Ur greatly advanced with massive defensive walls and temple restorations. The description of this man is truly intriguing and there's actually quite a few references to him being created from the stars, almost as if he came from the sky. Who or what was this poem actually trying to portray? Number 7. Anuma Elish An ancient library containing thousands of cuneiform tablets were uncovered in the northern Iraqi city of Nineveh in 1894. This was the former Assyrian capital which housed literary works of the Epic of Gilgamesh, but also works of the creation of earth, man, and the gods. This was known as the Anuma Elish, which tells tales of gods who mix blood with clay to create humans. 
It also gives the first accounts of the Anunnaki, or the ones who came from the heavens and helped with the developments of Sumeria. They also made deliberate changes to humans so they could advance through society much quicker. This text has led many to debate whether or not the Anunnaki could actually be visitors from another planet. Could they have possibly genetically altered humans with their DNA in a way to make them more intelligent? While it might sound a little bit crazy, consider the extreme technological advancements in this region and the amount of detail and effort that went into writing massive works. Number 6. The Drop of Stones Mystery The Drop of Stones truly make you wonder if this mysterious culture of people might have had some contact with the extraterrestrials at some point in the past. These are a series of 716 stones that all date back to 10,000 BC. They were further studied in 1958 after someone had realized they were all in a storage. They were inscribed with detailed hieroglyphic-like markings and many people believe they are a hoax. In 1962, markings were deciphered that told a story of a spacecraft that had crashed near the border of China and Tibet. The people on the spaceship were actually the Drapa people and were forced to adapt to life on Earth since they couldn't fix their spaceship. When they were examined by the Russians, they noticed very strange properties to these stones, and it might have contained materials that are difficult to possess. Number 5. Stone Age Map This mysterious stone was discovered in October 2016 in a ditch in Denmark, and the carvings have proven to be over 5,000 years old. This was discovered in a Neolithic shrine and is actually a map, even though it might not look like it at first. Researchers at the National Museum of Denmark have closely studied this rune stone and determined that it doesn't depict the sun and its rays as they first thought. The stone displays topographical details of the island in which it was found. They claim that they are not simply random scratches and it actually maps out different fields in this area. Truly intriguing. Number 4. Leonardo da Vinci's Manuscripts Leonardo da Vinci seemingly had advanced knowledge of what kind of technology we might see in the future. His ingenious designs might have not been used right away, but they would help inspire the base for modern equipment. This photo we see here is known as Leonardo's fighting vehicle, which was designed for the Duke of Milan. People might say this is similar to a prototype of a modern day tank. Some believe that Leonardo didn't design it perfectly in his sketches because he didn't want the tank to become too devastating it probably would be difficult to move in any case. Leonardo is also known for mysterious sketches such as the Codex Madrid, which displays a very strange spiral device we see here. Number 3. Dead Sea Scrolls This is one of the Dead Sea Scrolls that were discovered in Israel, but with only one slight difference. It's actually made of copper, whereas the other ones are written in papyrus. The document is 99% copper and 1% tin. It's not just in Hebrew, but it's also in Greek and Aramaic. It discussed over 64 locations where treasure is located. No one knows for sure exactly who wrote it. Most of the vocabulary was completely different from what other people saw in other literature at the time. Other strange books that are written in metal which are found in Jordan talk about strange powers that seem to come from out of this world. You have to wonder why ancient cultures would begin to write on metal at this time in history around the 1st century BC. Number 2. The Dresden Codex one of the oldest books that survived the conquest of America, the Dresden Codex contains 78 pages, each of which are highly decorated with depictions of Mayan civilization. It's currently being held in Dresden at a museum and even received some damage during the 1940s. The book is highly detailed and when unfolded, it reaches 12 feet in length. Written by the mysterious Mayan people during the 12th and 14th century, it has similar hieroglyphics that can be found at the Temple of Palenque in Mexico. However, much of what's written still remains a mystery. Many European scholars say it shows detail on how their calendar works and is related to celestial bodies. Various lords and wealthy aristocrats have privately owned the Dresden Codex during the 18th century. There are also various displays of powerful main gods such as the rain god known as Chasak. Strangely enough, he is depicted 134 times. Since much of it has been badly water damaged, we may never know the full true extent of its secrets. Number 1. The Voynich Manuscript no other manuscript out there is quite as mysterious as the Voynich Manuscript. While other codes have been easily cracked by experts, the Voynich Manuscript still remains uncrackable. Many of the pages have been mysteriously ripped out and the origins of it still remain a mystery. The book was found in Europe before the discovery of the New World, but surprisingly, there are detailed depictions of flowers that only grew in North America at the time, such as the sunflower. A lot of the plants seem quite alien-like in a sense, and you have to wonder where this mysterious author had seen them. There are even parts of the manuscript which seemingly display how one should bathe themselves once they reach the Fountain of Youth. This was a sought-after location by explorers such as Ponce de Leon. With so many mysterious things about this book, we could go on and on. 
Some claim they've actually cracked the code and think it's a descriptive guidebook of women's health. While some claim it's a hoax, carbon dating of the material used on the manuscript would indicate that it was created between 1404 and 1438, made of calfskin. Although there are a ton of theories about it, no one has really been able to officially conclude. If we were able to finally decode it, what kind of mysteries would we solve?